Hello, welcome to Magic. My name is Richard. Today we'll be going over how to use Magic's software development kit so you can get your very first app up and running, your very first user, and your user's very first on chain transaction. Our developer friendly SDK allows you to manage users and non custodial Web3 wallets for those users on over 25 chains, and your users can create them on the fly with email phone number, or one of our multiple social providers. Any links to documentations can be found in the notes section below. All right, let's get started. Well, we're first going to create a Magic Developer account uh, to the homepage. I'm gonna put in my email address here and let's get started. It's my first time signing up, so it'll take you through a quick little, how do you wanna create your first app? We're gonna keep it testnet, keep it email. We'll create this app. And now that we're logged in and we have a Magic application, we'll check out this quick start section. It's got everything that we've already selected, email, Ethereum, testnet, and it's taken the API key from down here. You'll need this to create your Magic instance. We're gonna copy this five line right here, and we're going to put it into the terminal and run it. And I've already done this to save you guys some time. But what that's going to do is scaffold the Next.js application and run a, a demo application locally. I'll show you what that looks like, but I'm not going to log in yet. Let's jump into the code first. This is what it's created. We'll check out the .env file. It's got the API key, Ethereum testnet, and inside here, let's go to components, magic, magic provider this is where the magic is happening we're importing magic we're importing uh, web3 in the provider we are creating magic new magic api key setting that to state we're also creating a web3 instance setting that to state as well and we can use that throughout our application so now that we've created magic and web3 I'm going to show you the email OTP and this is where the login happens. So I'm bringing in magic and when a user enters their email address to log in, it's going to fire this function right here, magic off module, login with email OTP, pass in an email. And I will show you what that does. Once the user logs in, the user can do one of many things, but in our case, we want to look at a transaction. So send transaction, the user, when they get some test ETH, we're gonna bring in Web3. And when they send the transaction, we're going to send the Web3, I'm sorry, a, a transaction using the Web3.js library here. Web3 ETH, send transaction, and you'll see what all that looks like coming up. We've gone through the code. So now I'll demonstrate what a login looks like for your end user. This is the email being passed into login with email OTP. It triggers this magic UI. It gives the user a place to insert that 06 digit OTP that's emailed to them. I'm gonna to go to my inbox and get that OTP, paste it in here. It authenticates the user on this network with this wallet address. Now back to my app, let's go to the users tab and a few seconds ago, your user just logged in. With your user logged in and they have a wallet, this is on testnet. So we could go over here to get test ETH and actually get some test ETH. I've already gone ahead and done that. I'm gonna refresh and show you. Great, I got one ETH Sepolia here and I'm going to now send this back to myself. Um, back in the code, you recall that we were using Web3.js. 0.98 and we'll send. Transaction successful. Let's take a look at this. There you go. So that's the Ethereum in. That's the Ethereum that I just sent out right now. In this video, we created a magic application, had your user log in with email OTP and send the transaction. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so much more things you can do with Magic SDK. For example, if you don't want to build with Ethereum, head over to our docs 
our blockchain section and take a look at the 26 plus different blockchains that we support, healthy mix of EVM and non-EVM. On the auth side, you could have opted for a different passwordless approach, maybe with a phone number or biometrics. Or you could have configured a social login to give your users an even more seamless one-click login experience. And you could have even customized the login flow if it was for email. You could have set a theme, a color, add a brand logo so that the email that they receive reflects your character and that the login flow is more in line with what you envision for your onboarding flow to be. There's so many more things you can do with Magix SDK. Can't cover it all today. Take a look at our docs. Have fun. We'll get more information out to you guys. See you again soon.